Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Alright, time for a waste not deck. How do we want to build around this? Whenever an opponent discards a creature, we get a zombie. When they discard a land, we get mana. When they discard a non-creature, non-land card, we draw a card. Are there any other, like, Wheel of Fortune type effects that could work with Waste Knot? Dragon Mage, I guess, yeah. Although that one seems a bit ambitious. Each player discards their hand and draws seven. Awaken the Erstwhile, that could work. Each player discards all the cards in their hands. It's not a great card, so we are relying pretty heavily on Waste Knot. It's an option, I'll put it in here for now as a placeholder. Captive Audience seems a bit slow at 7, but that's technically also a way for them to discard their hand. Yeah, Thought Distortion makes them exile, so that doesn't work with Waste Knot. We're probably just gonna play more traditional, like, discard deck that plays a bunch of individual cards that makes the opponent discard one or two cards, as opposed to some weird combo deck that tries to win in a flurry with like one big discard effect. Uh, we could be mono black, we could go into a second color, not sure yet. Then another payoff could be Raider's Wake, whenever an opponent discards they lose two. We could play Davriel of course, which should be pretty good. Uh, Rankle can also be decent. So these are all potential considerations. Burgle Rat. Now, we don't want to be playing the Fenlurker since Fenlurker exiles, whereas Burgle Rat discards, so it synergizes with Waste Knot. Hypnolic Spectre, although in my experience it's been a little bit too slow to really be worth it, but maybe. Fell Spectre, that's another synergy card. Now, I remember playing this type of deck before and wanting access to ways of making the opponent draw cards, but I guess Rankle kind of works, because that's a way for the opponent to draw cards when they're empty-handed, and then we can play our other discard effects to still make them discard, to trigger Raider's Wake or Waste Knot. So I think Rankle's going to be a key part of this deck, and I might want to just max it out. Yeah, there is Howling Golem, which when it attacks, um, makes each opponent or each player draw cards. That's a card I remember trying in this deck before, but it's not great. 3 mana, 2, 3 is not an exciting card. I guess we could play Stormfist Crusader and go into red, and then we can also play Croxa. Don't know how many Croxas we're gonna play, but uh, yeah, and then I can maybe cut some of the clunkier cards. The Raider's Wake is typically not great. But it is good with Crusader since it's an evasive creature with Menace. Yeah, we could play Big Angrath as a curve topper. So yeah, Awaken the Erstwhile is probably going to get cut. Uh, four Rankle might be too many. And now we have Crusader to make them draw more cards too. Don't think I'm going to end up playing Raider's Wake. With uh, Stormfist Crusader and uh, Rankle to make them draw cards, that's going to be enough. Obnixilus isn't particularly efficient. Four Davriel is probably too many. We do want some removal in here too. And then I don't think I want uh, Hypnotic Spectre. And there's only so many four drops we can play. Let's say we go down to two Davriels and then the rest of the deck we can add some interaction. can play Lightning Strike. If a removal can also be Burn, it's probably better. So a couple Lightning Strikes, things that fill the graveyard for uh, Crocs is also good. So we could play the um, various Spectacle cards, Drill Bits. Secure the Critics seems decent too. Yeah, I mean Vicious Rumors is okay with Croxa. Don't know if we have room for it. Because we do want to kind of get the Waste Knot in play first before we make them discard to an extent. So one mana discard effects are maybe less need it. So we're kind of a red-black burn discard deck at the moment. 24 lands could be too many, depends how high the curve ends up being. Crusader's a good spectacle enabler, otherwise I guess we're not doing amazing on that aspect. I do like the combo with the Rankle and Burglar Rat quite a bit. Rankle also a way to put more stuff in the graveyard for Croxa. Less red removal, add more cast down. It's definitely an option. 
could want a mix of both. Waste Knot does potentially generate a bit of mana, so having a few like more expensive cards in the deck isn't a bad idea. Yeah, I could go plus one Rankle, minus one Fell Spectre, it's definitely reasonable. And then 24 lands is probably okay. You can definitely build this more like a control deck, but I think we're going for a slightly more aggressive and proactive approach. Alright, the mana base should be better than it is in standard at least. Can maybe still find room for castle. But then we have summits and blood crypts. Might be okay with playing a couple temples. I could play Fabled Passage just to help with escape. So what's the mana situation at the moment? I have 15 reds, 17 black. So how many discard effects total do we have? 4 rat, 4 drill bits, 2 croxa, 2 davriel, 3 fell spectre, 3 rankles, 2 angras, so definitely no shortage of discard effects to combo with our waste knot and our fell spectres, and then between the crusader and the rankle we should make sure that the opponent and never really runs out of cards that we can make them discard in the first place. Right, let's take this for a spin. Alright, we get to see our Waste Knot in action. A bit land heavy, but uh, still seems keepable. And if they give us mana, I guess I can play a 3 mana Skewer the Critics afterwards. Ooh, Drill Blitz. Could be nice too. So yeah, we'll uh, play the rats. Unfortunately, we are helping them with uh, escaping Uro. Ah, they just gave us a zombie. Could have also been correct to just drill bit for three. Maybe that was actually better, although I can't take a land and then still burglar rat. But if we wanted to prevent a Nissa from happening, could have been nice. I guess I just drill bit now. Could attack first and then maybe enable spectacle. So definitely taking Cavalier. Angrath can also steal Risen Reef and kill it. Although, I probably want to save this for Uro, since Uro is also CMC 3 or less. Davriel to get their last cards. Well, we both are making zombies. At least on the bright side, our zombie token looks cooler than the opponent's. So that's what we get for not playing them from uh, Field of the Dead. This Angrath on Uro is going to be pretty juicy. Yeah, I could have played Angrath to make them discard their last card. But I don't want them to know that we have Angrath to minus on Uro. Otherwise, they might not escape it.
All right, so step one, I guess make him discard. Agent of Treachery, wow. <laughs> that would have been scary. Now I actually don't really want to attack with my zombies since I want to protect my two planeswalkers. Even though I could maybe enable Spectacle to then kill the Risen Reef. Opponents empty handed, but that's going to change with Crusader. No fire, no yeah, the fact that their opponent draws the extra card at the beginning of our upkeep makes this card 10 times better than uh, it would be otherwise. And then I don't think I need to burn anything right now. I can respond to an elemental by killing the Risen Reef, and I don't want to fill their graveyard for Uro if I can avoid it. Sank and feel of the dead, that's a potential problem here. Alright, so I guess we'll play the Fell Spectre for now. Nice, so they can escape Uro now. Ouch, that was kind of the perfect draw. Four zombies and get to escape Uro. Cycling lands get punished by uh, Fell Spectre. So yeah, I think I can kill them if I Fell Spectre attack. 13, 9 points of burn down to 4. 2 from Angrath. 2 from Davriel. And I guess Fell Spectre also makes him lose two more. That was a cool game. Alright, I guess I'll keep. So turn two waste not and then turn three I can go burn spell plus drill bit maybe. This could be an enchantment sigil of the empty throne deck.
All right, decision time. So what's the best case scenario? I play Burgle Rat, they discard a land, and then I can either Drill Bit or Lightning Strike. And given that they have a Nesting Wonder in play, they're somewhat likely to discard a land in this stage. I think I try it. Alright, nah, I guess that still works. They discarded a Nessian Wonder. Could see a Banishing Light on Waste Knots. Gift of Paradise instead. The Wonder misses. So now we can Lightning Strike, the Wonder attack and Drill Bits. Yep, Sigil of the Empty Throne. I called it after they played the first land. Conqueror's Death doesn't really bother me at the moment, so I'll probably just take the Sigil. Draw a Burgle Rat. So, as champion, we can Skewer. Burgle Rat will... Uh, Draws a card here too. Alright, so we've got a pretty good turn lined up. I guess I could attack with both. They maybe eat Burgle Rat and then I can Skewer, Burgle Rat and play Crusader, which is even better. I'll start here. I think that's worth it. And now if we draw more discard effects, we still get to keep enabling the waste knots. Alright, sweet. So we'll just waste not for now. Could see a Maelstrom Pulse take out Waste Knots. It's one of the new cards. Yep. <laughs> Man. My uh, calls are on point today. Now what? Probably just kill this Reclaimer before it gets out of hand. No double black for rankles, unfortunate. Nissa discarded, ouch. Their hand must be loaded. This could be a Gitrog monster deck too. Which I guess we can kill with rankle if we draw the black mana. Power. 
Fell Spectre, get their last card, I guess. Although the Reclaimer will grow large enough to survive Skewer the Critics next turn. Hmm, so we are in a bit of trouble. Eh, and they did have the Gitrock monster, as expected. Well, we do need a Swamp pretty badly. Ouch. Well, it's probably game over. Guess I can kill the forests, but this game seems pretty much over. Double Stormfists. I mean, Stormfist is good with the drill bits, so I guess we'll keep. Ooh, Merfolk. Alright, this could be a tough matchup since they can definitely overwhelm us if they've got a, enough cheap Merfolk. Wanna keep our removal to deal with kind of the Lord effects. Do I want to play another Stormfists? I mean, maybe the way we approach this is just uh, go a double Stormfist and hope we kill them before they empty their hands. That also kind of negates the effectiveness of Silvergill, and then the Stern Drill Bits. Alright, so probably taking the Mistbinder. Could take Reachery, but I think I want to take the cheaper cards. Rankle could be nice, but for now we need to burn this Regery. So I can go Croxa plus uh, Secure the Critics. Or I could Lightning Strike to save a 1 mana Secure for later, which is maybe better. Sure. They probably want to discard a spell instead of a land here, just so they don't take any damage. But I'm happy to take a 1 mana play, since that's one way they could quickly add the board, or uh, fill the board. Different approach is to just go face, since they can't block my mana creatures anyways, and save my burn spells to go upstairs, since we do also have a rankle that can deal some damage. Gonna be Mistbinder. But now we can secure the Mistbinder, attack for four, and also play Rankle if we want. So would they be deaths? So if I kill this, hit them for four, seven, can deal one more with Rankle. So we're one point short. Would they block Crusader though, or would they take four? I guess they're likely to block it since they're at 9. What's the risk that we die on the way back if my opponent goes double Mistbinder? I could take enough to die. 
So maybe Rankle makes him sacrifice a creature, and then I just sacrifice a Crusader. So sacrifice a creature, and then I could lose one life, so that's, I just need the trigger from the Crusader to win the game. The discard doesn't seem relevant, although I guess it puts a card in the graveyard for Croxa, which could help. And I'll discard an extra land, I guess. Yeah, they can use a blink on Crusader, but then they can blink Rankle, which also kills them. And have a backup Rankle in case something happens to it. And at 8, with only one Silver Gill in play, it's pretty safe. Alternatively, I could have sacked Rankle itself, but it's more expensive to replay Rankle than potentially another play. So what about this hand? Turn 1 Temple, turn 2 Crusader, turn 3 Davriel. Seems fine. Don't think I can keep Angrath on top. Ooh, Thalia. Alright, so we can play our Waste Knot. Thalia is very good against our deck. So I guess I'm forced to Crusader now. And drill bit still costs two mana. So I can skewer plus drill bits. It's probably what I want to do here. Do I want to attack first and offer the trade? Maybe. Although keeping Crusader in place is kind of nice. I see, so it's kind of like a first strike, double strike synergy deck. Uh, they are stuck on two, so they're not playing Quenda anytime soon, and I can Lightning Strike it. So I can take an Emissary, or I can take the Hunted Witness. i uh, probably take one Emissary. And then keep Crusader on defense to block the Marshal. Nice, Cure is great. Yeah, Elspeth's Nightmare is okay, it's just that not every deck has a target for the first chapter, and then it's pretty inefficient. I do want to get this Waste Knot in play. There's nothing I really want to secure the critics. Could just play Croxa for now. Or Davriel. Because getting Davriel in play kind of forces them to pressure it. And it's the most man efficient play we have. And then if they send everyone a Davriel, I get to eat a Hassa Marshal. I do like Skewer since it's an efficient 1 mana spell with Crusader. Now if they somehow kill my Crusader, I'm gonna be sad. Alright, so this is a good turn to get this Waste Knot in play. 
and then I could play Burgle Rats, or I could double skewer or keep up Lightning Strike for one day play Quende, which is also reasonable here. Could go Waste Knot plus Croxa. I guess Waste Knot plus Croxa is still pretty efficient, because if they somehow don't play Quende, I'm going to waste my two mana that I keep up for Lightning Strike. And if they discard a land here, I still get to play Burgle Rats, which is pretty good too. Yeah, the Emissary could gain Double Strike if they play Quende, but we can take a hit. And that worked out beautifully. So our Waste Knot engine is online, got our Storm Fists, making sure the opponents never really empty-handed. Could jump to prevent for damage. Seems fine. Not a waste knot, although my only discard effect is Rankle. In that case, I should have maybe kept the 1-1 one, one token or the 1-1 one, one rat to sack to Rankle. But I can also sacrifice a zombie. Or I can just play another Waste Knots and play a couple Burn Spells. Think I stay back. I could hit with a Crusader. And then block a 1-1 one, one Lightning Strike the Emissary. I guess that's alright. And then next turn I can escape Croxa. It's a lot of mana, so I get to play my Rankle. Um, I guess I'll just attack first. Could have skewered a Bugler and attack with all, who is also reasonable here. So, s don't really want to sack a creature. Discards. Do we want to draw? I guess I do. Alright, sweet. That was alright. So yeah, got to see plenty of Waste Knot in action. Card seems pretty nice to build around, and I especially like the combo with uh, Stormfist Crusader. So yeah, this is a pretty good spot for the deck. Fell Spectre, not sure if it's necessary, but has some cool synergies. Could potentially play some more cheap burn spells like Shock, but uh, we seem to have a pretty easy time enabling Spectacle on Security Critics, especially with Crusader in play. So there's no card that really feels out of place, and the deck seem to 
do what it was supposed to. Land count seems okay, we do have some expensive cards. And then once we start drawing cards with the Crusader, we're often going to have uh, multiple spells we want to play in the same turn. Not sure if we want Fabled Passage over Temple. Pretty happy with where we ended up. That's going to be it for me today. I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.